automating occupancy tags in Revit with ID, MemLink, and Excel macro templates. There are many reasons why you might need a calculated Revit property pushed into a tag, but surely building occupancy calculations is the most common reason for this process. Unfortunately, Revit doesn't allow a calculated value to be reported in a tag, but the good news is that ID8 BIMLINK has always been able to assist with this process. We can use BIMLINK to push the results of an Excel formula into a shared parameter, which has been a huge time saver for BIMLINK users since Revit version 2011. However, there's one part of this process that's been bugging us for some time. Due to a Revit API limitation, we cannot programmatically access the Revit calculated value, or even the formula, for the occupant load. This means that each time you're exporting the BIMLINK data, you need to retype the formula inside the Excel file before re-importing back to the tag. We've wondered, you know, could we automate this part of the process and thereby eliminate the risk of user error in transcribing the formula and therefore further expedite this process? So, we spent some time developing an Excel template that would address this part of the challenge. This video demonstrates the use of this macro template. I8 BIMLINK customers can access this sample content at no cost by emailing us at support at id8software.com. Before we begin, let's take a quick tour of the data set that we're providing. Within the zip file, we can see we have both a Revit file called ID8 Occupancy Dataset and a macro-enabled Excel file called ID8 Occupancy. In this example, I'll extract both to my test folder. The Excel file has the XLSM extension, which denotes that a macro, which is like a mini program, is embedded inside. As you open the file, the first thing you'll need to do is pick the Enable Content button. There are three worksheets within the Excel file. The first two are direct exports from ID8 BIMLINK, one for room-based elements and another in case you prefer areas as I do. The last worksheet is used to define the formula that will be copied into row G for both the area and room worksheets. The sample Revit file contains the views, schedules, key schedules, tags, and ID8 BIMLINK content to help you do occupancy calculations with either room elements or for use with area elements, which I prefer. There are five steps within this process, several of which are automated through the use of the sample files. We'll start by reviewing the steps and then we'll demonstrate within the Revit file itself. The first step is to create a shared parameter which will hold the calculated value for the occupancy load. In the sample Revit file, this has already been done for you with a parameter called OL, which is assigned to both area and room elements. Step two is to load the sample link for areas or rooms. In the sample Revit file, this has already been done. If you want to use these links in your own project, just right click on the area occupancy or rooms occupancy links and select the option to save the link definition. These can then be imported into your own project via BIMLINK's file menu. Step three is optional. For those who want to make changes to the link, be sure to limit your changes to editing the link description, making changes to sorting, changing the filter rules, or by adding new properties. Any new property should be added after the occupant load property. It's important that the properties above the occupant load remain as is and are not deleted. Step four is to export to Excel. This is where the template comes into play. Be sure to change the export file type to XLSM and to select ID8 occupancy. Step five is to set up and copy the formula. If you're using the template with the macro, this is being done for you. All you need to do is open and save the file so that the macro can run. Now that we've reviewed the steps, let's see this in action. In the sample Revit file, steps one through three have already been done for you, so we'll move directly to the exporting phase. In this video, we're managing both room and area data, but most likely you'll be using only one of these methods. After you export, you'll want to open the file, but I'm going to wait until I export both of these links first. Don't forget to export to the XLMS file type. As we open the file, the macro kicks in and recopies the formula into the appropriate tab for both the area and room data worksheets. After you review the data, save and close the file. Now we'll import both the room and the area data.
when we close out BIMLINK, we'll notice that both schedules will update with the new values. You'll also want to review the two custom tags for rooms and areas that reflect the new occupancy load values. This occupancy dataset was designed to demonstrate the power of Excel macros used in conjunction with ID at BIMLINK. Here, the ability to remove the need for adding the formula will reduce user error and increase the speed with which you can quickly populate your tag data in Revit. If you're interested in trying out this data set and are an ID8 BIMLINK customer, you can contact us at support at ID8software.com and we'll send you the content.